How about that? Cool, huh? Welcome to Wingman's Hangar, episode 50. What does that mean? Well, we've skipped two weeks this year, so that means this is our one-year anniversary. It's unbelievable. Mike, can you believe it's been a year? I cannot believe it's been an entire year. I mean, it's crazy. We've had an amazing ride here where we've come from, where we're at now, uh, the, the contributions of the fans, the contributions of Chris and Sandy, yourself, Ben, Rob, Pete. It's been incredible, and it's all due, and, and thanks to the fans out there. So, um, well, there's one of the things you always want to do in these kind of celebrations is you kind of want to take a look back at where you've been. Would you, should we take a look back and see where we've been? Yeah, i got something to show. All right. Mike put together this really cool deal. Let's take a look. All right, hey, everybody. Welcome to the first edition of Wingman's Nut. <laughs> Welcome to Wingman's Nut. Nuts, but Wingman's Hanger. Episode 6. Episode 7. Space Loop YouTube. Space Loop YouTube. Whoa. Whoa! Episode 10, 15, 26. Mm. Episode 38 of Wingman Sanger. To be fair, they don't taste as good as English food. Fair enough. Okay, <laughs> it's not technically English food just because it's in England. A lot. It's a complete sausage fest. I mean, oh, it's just nice. dudes. And what do we have here? What, what we are these? What these? <laughs> I'm not looking. And everybody that's been a fan of this show knows that we like balls. <laughs> so... And want, cocktails. And cocktails. By the way, we're being attacked by a gnat fly in here as we're speaking. <laughs> We've been pretty close together, but this is probably closer than we normally are in Not by office. much. Uh, and I also want to, you know, um, take off my hat. Oh, man, it's, it's stinking. You. Oh, hey, you not all know. Alone. I know. I know it's very nervous to be on a show watched by fives of people. New game character, which I'll be. For the ability to open up. How is the weather there? See what I see. There's Michael. Welcome to Wingman's Hangar, episode 12. It's a late breaking fan video. Of motion community because of this. Oh, hey there, Wingman. Good to see you. Hello, Wingman. Uh, hey, Wingman. Maybe you drift into a black hole and nobody ever sees you again. Those are the ghost cartels financially. I am eight years old. I love watching my dad play video games. Will there be a health care or health insurance that will. I call her Karen. Hey guys, Nikki Bat Girl D'Angelo here. They're a stealth weapon. You just never know what's going to happen when they're. Oh! By the way, the Bella Shields, we are on a. I am on a weight loss program. Am I too, am I too big? Let's, should we start all over again? <laughs> hey, citizens, welcome to the show. It's Parrot Wingman Ederson here, and uh, let's talk about my weight a little bit, shall we? Uh, blah, 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 wait, wait, wait. But I can still have pizza. Um, I just have to scrape the top. Started at 236 pounds. How did we do this week? Well, two more pounds, baby! Uh... Yeah. 211! Yeah. Let everybody show up to Oh, them. Okay, we won't be at <laughs> Oh, there goes my head. What? This week's trophy goes to Cynical Cyanide. Modified it specifically for our purposes. Ben waded through the forums with hammer in his hand. Okay. Redacted. Okay, okay. Ben enacted. Okay. Removed without a trace. <laughs> that is a good idea. Uh oh. Good afternoon. Or depending on your worldview, good evening, good morning. Today's prologue is the calm before a rather nasty bit of business. Remember, my patient darling, speed is life. Or death, if you're going the wrong way. I'd like to pause for a moment for my narrative in progress. Why are there five syllables in the word monosyllabic? So, what happened to the other 41 squadrons? What if Jesse's girl. Is Stacy's mom. It's a pack of underwear <laughs> and it says only open in case of shark. Now, my goal is to have uh, the actual base level of the game actually physically detailed and pretty, you know, like to a level that I 
haven't done in one of my past games. We're back from CitizenCon where we got the chance to meet a lot of you. Greetings, Star Citizen. Here's a flash update from Behavior. Oompa loompa doopa dee doo. Do you know what time it is? It's time for forum feedback. Exactly. Forum feedback. Forum feedback. 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 Ben, what do you think? When's Rob going to update this? When, when am I going to oh, update the well, ship stats? I, I can confirm that Rob has now updated the ship stats page. What? <laughs> Nose camp! Yeah! Uh... This is the hardest thing. So we're ever. working hard here at uh, Planet Imperium. <laughs> yeah, we bring Gamescom to you. What's your name on the on the forum, sir? What are my name? Wildcard82. Wildcard82. Well, I'm uh, Kowski McCann, call sign uh, Deviatics. And they're here, and they're citizens. You guys have their citizen cards. Show them the, in, the, uh, in your badges. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Schism, with my girlfriend, Miss. Okay. And your tag was... My tag is uh, Miss. The fact that you actually see how much everyone loves what this kind of game is, and is so excited by what we're doing, and wants to participate and support it, um, and it makes you want to work twice as hard, and, and uh, there's no way we're making a bad game. So, um, thank you very much, everybody. Well, where are we going to see you? In the Wow, wow, wow. We've had a lot of fun being doing some zany stuff, all wrapped around this really cool Star Citizen project, and we've allowed, we've had the creative freedom to kind of roll with it and just kind of throw some humor here and there and we've really enjoyed it and it seems to have resonated and we thank you for that and it's just it's just an incredible ride and hopefully we'll get more of that in the new year we'll be able to keep on trucking so to speak um, well we got a big kind of mini miniature week in review but it's a lot of things happening we have it's moving day what does that mean well today we are actually physically packing our stuff to get the heck out of Dodge we have been packed tight, tight, tight in this little bitty basement for over a year. And we've got a really, really nice place we're moving into where people are going to be able to spread out. We're going to be able to hire more people, which we need to do. And it's just going to be an amazing experience. So we sat down. We had a look at the layout of the new office. And we all worked it out together. And I think everybody's going to be happy where they're going to be. And so now it's time to talk to Mr. Ron LaJoy. How you doing, man? Good. Tired. Yeah, well, we've been working a little bit of hours here around here lately. Extra hours this week. Um, Ron's kind of the guy who's in charge of uh, wrestling the troops and making sure that we get all the things in the hangar patch done mm -hmm. and that it's stable and that it works for the people out there. Now, we've got, last week we kind of did a maintenance patch. Yeah. You want to tell people what that means? What that yeah, kind of so we hadn't, you know, we pushed uh, hangar patches out a couple months ago. Right. And everybody's kind of been full steam on dogfighting, so it's just kind of been sitting by the wayside. Right. A um, little bit of code rot, so we had to bring it back up to speed and fix a bunch of bugs and make sure it was stable. Right, so right. It was kind of a, just a maintenance patch to make sure everything was working as it should. Right, and to get, to get ready for this week's patch. Right. Well, the big thing last week was client-side persistence, obviously, yes. so yes. fans can, can update, change their ship around mm -hmm. and see the changes on their ship. And eventually that'll lead to being able to place things in the hangar the way right. they want to, but right. not yet. Not quite. So this week we've got a rather large patch coming up. Yes, we do. Um, which is... In test. And right as we're taping this right now, yes. not stable. No, it's not. <laughs> but it will be it's by the time they're watching this. Never ceases to happen. Every time we do a patch, something blows up. <laughs> it's crazy. The build, build server was down earlier today. I know. The build server went poof. But always, we, we always got something. I know. It's crazy. That's development, right? So yes. but what, what are they going to be able to see? What are we doing this time? So we're going to add a couple ships. Ooh, a couple ships. Are we saying what ships we're yeah, adding? Yeah, sure. Go ahead okay, and tell we're going to add the, uh, the new Avenger mm -hmm. and the Cutlass. And the Cutlass. They're going to be in the hangar. Yep. They're going to be able to get inside them, walk around, mm -hmm. check it out, do all that kind of they stuff. They look pretty good. They look really good. Now, they're not necessarily PBR'd yet because no. we still don't have that code drop from... Right from Crytek to, to make that all happen. Um, what else? What else is going on in the hangar? Um, so we're going to add a uh, cute little space crab. The spa <laughs> He's awesome, by he the way, awesome. man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They did a really good job Space on crab. For, and now one of the things we're doing, we're adding some some different fish types that yep. you can have and put into your, your fish tank. We'll yep. give you some UEC to buy some stuff. And the reason we're doing that is that we, you want, we want you to kind of start changing things around in your hangar and then check out the client-side persistence for us. So there'll be 
a space crab. Um, some jellyfish. Some jellyfish. Jelly. <laughs> and then, uh, I know, it reminds me of like uh, uh, Nemo. Mm. Swimming with the jellies. And there'll be uh, a sucker fish, like a oh, cleaner yep. fish. Yep. There'll be, um, what else is going in that thing? I the think crab's got a little house. Oh, the Nemo, crab's got the grotto. That's yep. in there. Yeah, yeah. It runs in there and hides. So there's a few things in there for yep. them to see. There'll be the Avenger, the Cutlass. And then uh, anything, you know, that you might be able to interact with? Just a little thing. Um, we're calling it the firing range. The firing range. So basically you'll be able to plop a weapon down on it and uh, test it out. Be able to shoot stuff. Yep. A few, few targets there in the hangar that you can blast away at. Um, it, it will be limited for this initial release. Yeah. There's only going to be a few weapons. Right. Um, but as we get effects and animation and sound online, we'll patch those in as we go. Yeah, and we and you know we might even move that to its own right. room at some point. We yeah, don't absolutely. Have, we don't have the room system in no, there yet no. that's going to allow us to expand the hangar out. Right now, it basically expands yeah, in one direction. Right. Cramming everything in there right, right. now. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Eventually, but, the hangar will be just a hangar. Yeah. And we can move everything. Out. Uh, right. We'll put room systems attached to it right. and stuff like that. So that is coming. And, it is Special and that first, I believe the first iteration of that is going to be the asteroid hangar, which will kind of ship in the new year sometime. Yep. Yes, uh, but we are going to be putting that into the room system, which will then allow PBR and other things that will go in there. So right. the asteroid hangar will be the first iteration of yes. that. So, totally. well, that's cool, man. Thanks for that. Absolutely. I mean, the, the fans to get go get your hangar patch. It's out there. It's probably fairly large. So get started on mm -hmm. downloading it. And Absolutely. And, uh, oh, yeah, you know what time it is? What time is it? Well, it looks like from Mike's little thing there that it's time for... B -b 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 forum Feedback! So there you go, Forum Feedback, guys, and it's episode 50. 50. One year anniversary. Can we... The question is, are we going to make it to two? <laughs> I'd play lay odds against that. Ever 52, happened. I don't know. Yeah, 50 plus two, I don't know. Um, we got some questions, though. You guys ready to answer? You ready to step up there and get them going? Sure. From Mall 218 will we see the Cutlass in a game single ship package before all the alpha slots run out? Ooh. Cutlass package. And everyone turns uh, to look at Ben. <laughs> I guess it depends if the alpha slots run out before later today. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, there, there should be a Cutlass package in the store now. Uh, check it out. There you go. That's, that's cool. Ooh, our first video from Jetroid. I was wondering if we'd be able to set presets. For example, the energy loadout on our ships or the equipment in our hangar. Because it would be pretty tiresome to keep having to change every single thing at once. And it would be very easy to just set it up and then change between different settings. So what do you guys think? Will, will we have ship presets we can uh, easily recall? We've, we've talked about a lot of different types of presets, in fact. It's like presets for different loadouts for your ships sure. that you can store in your hangar, or presets for power which settings. weapons fire, power yeah, settings. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're being chased by a bandit or something, you may want to, mm -hmm. you know, hit a hot key and boost up the shields and the booty. The, the runaway preset? My booty is well shielded. You've got a shielded <laughs> yeah. booty? That's <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we got a shielded booty. All right, from Marek, he says, How are we expected to survive in first-person combat without a proper shooting range to practice our defense with handheld weapons? A proper oh. shooting range. A proper oh. shooting range. Oh. Is, he, is he implying that the shooting range that's coming out in the hangar is improper? Well, maybe he's implying that firing range and shooting range are different because, well, they are. They are. I agree uh -huh. with that. I agree with that. Um, and so what will happen there is you guys, if you want to see a handheld weapon firing range or something of that nature, shooting gallery sort of deal, um, put it up in the forum topics. We're, we're looking for, uh, we've got a post up there about, you know, what you want to see in the hangar. And um, who knows, we might, we might just uh, listen to that, I think. But we'll have to wait till all the first-person shooter stuff is in before we, you know, before we right, get to right. that. Well, I, I say the galaxy is my shooting range, so you all better watch out. <laughs> Are you going to be in a giant spacesuit with your shielded booty running around <laughs> shooting stuff? How do you shoot with a hammer? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> From Marcus Impaleman Polis, he says. Last time. The package must be on time. What is this? No, no. Power search detected. One. Cut your engines, lower your shields, and prepare to be boarded. And now... A simple task with simple instructions, these so-called movers 
have failed me again. They even failed at buying insurance. It paid out in coupons. Those sons of A nerve of some people. They've been under the radar for weeks. I need you to track them down and make them pay. I don't know, get creative. How about um, when you capture them, make them watch uh, pony cartoons or uh, listen to some of Legante singing. Hmm. Right, so to sum it up, breach of contract, loss of property, and insolence. Anything else I should know? You need to act fast and be very good to find them. They've got a two-day head start, which is more than they need. They've got friends on every planet from here to Terra. Know a dozen languages. Know every local custom. They'll blend in, disappear, and we'll never find them again. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrows. They could be in Xion space for all we know right now. Good hunting. All right. Kim Shadow, out. Dear Wingman, can I pursue targets into alien space? I'm going to need a gun of some sort. First of all, a lot of a lot of cool uh, folks in that video that we've seen before. Some familiar faces. That's good. Always good to have your videos, and and it's also a good question. Can they can they pursue targets into alien space? Well, there's always a question of can versus should. So can sure should sometimes they might react differently. It depends, but uh, that's a lot of that kind of draws from the fiction. So if you've been keeping up on our fiction on the website. There's a lot of discussion about the tensions between the UE and the Jean, for instance. So, you know, you might have to be a little more careful, but there will probably be ways to make arrangements. So you can't be dogged, maybe like doggedly wor not worrying about where you are in space. It's going to matter. Yeah, it's going to matter. Your reputation, what's going on, the, the actual area you're in space is going to matter. And the aliens may enforce different laws than uh, humans. That's true. Could happen. Aliens are, you know, well, alien. From Sun Apollo... What's the go on the weapons range? Will it be guns we own, or do we get access to all of them? That is a good question, and something we've been wrestling with internally as well. We have been. So after the wrestle, what did we decide? <laughs> For now, the goal is to have a limited set of weapons available, the ones that are most ready, of course. Um, and that limited set of weapons will be limited even further by weapons you have on ships you own, or that you have purchased in the Voyager Direct store. Yeah, that's a good, good point, too, is that, you know, while we're making these weapons, it's not just a matter of taking the weapon and, you know, maybe we've recreated the, the actual gun or laser itself. We can then go, okay, it's, on the, it, it's mounted to the mount, but we need effects, particle effects for it. We need VFX. We need sounds. Um, so it's, it's a little more than just stuff of that nature. What were you going to say? Do you have something? No. We just... Was your booty shield bothering you there? <laughs> he was adjusting right, his booty right. shield. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have enough of that, Ben. From Pariahs, he says... What are you waiting for? Raise the lift already! Okay, can you at least get the turret working? Ah. <sighs> Hello, Wingman. Some members of the community have imported the Hangar Module files into the free CryEngine editor for the purpose of making videos and exploring game assets. However, many of us are having trouble getting the ships imported with working animations using the CGA files, as attempting to do so will either freeze the editor or crash it with duplicate animation errors. As you can see, this is causing a few problems. My question is, could you provide some guidance on how we can work around these issues with the free editor to get the animations working, if it's even possible? It would be a tremendous benefit to the community, as this would improve the potential quality of fan videos dramatically, and really help us promote the game during this early phase of development. Thank you for your time and consideration. I'm Scott Manley, Flyson. Ooh!
Ooh, I hope he's all right there. Ouch. I, I think we probably don't have to answer that question. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's dead now. We yeah, have no, more videos don't to worry go. About it. You know, that's a, that is a good question, and, and we we loved it last week as well, but we weren't quite sure we had a good enough answer for that, so we, we pushed it to this week. But this week, what do you guys think? Can we provide some guidance on how to hook up the animations in the free editor? Well, he kind of answered it himself. I mean, that's part of it. It's like we're, we're working on several different facets of the game at once, and a move, yeah. and staffing right now. So, yeah. you know, we, we haven't been able to push that forward right now. But, you know, at some point, that is going to become first on our priorities. And at some point, we'll start working on that and, and try to release more information, I'm sure. But it's just today is not the day for that, you know. Right. But it is really cool. It's I mean, a great we, video. <laughs> yeah, it, it, We'd love to see our fans do as much of that sort of thing yeah. as possible. And as it becomes possible for us to help out, we absolutely will. Yeah, I mean, and we, you know, making the tools that will allow you to do that or releasing our editor, you know, that's a ways out. And, and we've got a lot <laughs> of stuff to do still. But we would love to. You know, we, if we was, re if it was ready, we'd do it today. But, you know. We only have one Brian Brewer right now, but down the road when we have like six or seven, then uh, we're gonna clone Brian Brewer. Yes. Cloning. You Excellent. heard it here first. It's the forty million dollars stretch goal. Yeah, the Brian Brewer clone. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know if that's possible. Did you say we'd be brewing them? We all. Oh, <laughs> oh. It wouldn't be a hanger show without a groan-worthy comment, and this time it's not from me. <laughs> oh, here's one of our favorite contributors, Disco Lando. Good morning, Wingman. This is Lando. Disco, Lando. And I have a question about the elusive executive hangar. Now, from time to time, I'll hear one rumor or another about this mysterious fifth hangar. There's no such thing as a rumor about Disco Lando. If it isn't true now, it will be. Now, is the executive hangar still in the works? Was it just another name for the business hangar, or should we just not believe everything we hear on the internet? Top men told me that the executive hangar turns all your ships into Bengal carriers, made of bagels and souls. The executive hangar is so extravagant, those blarging blarg bags won't even let me in the blarging door. I heard that the executive hangar comes with an automatic form troll ejection system. I heard the executive hangar is more powerful than the PS4. By today, the executive hangar is so advanced that it cures ingrown toenails. Wow, another excellent video with some of the regulars on there. Good to see everybody. Awesome. So, Rob, do you want to clear up the executive hangar once and for all? The mythical executive hangar. Well, you know... This is a good opportunity to talk about it. So the executive hangar... Thank you very much. I mean, I get it now. Yeah, I mean, it's, we finally. Hey, I'm glad I can help. It's out there for all of you guys. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. The fans have wanted to know that. And now, it's time for this week's most valuable bin. Hey everyone, welcome to MVP, Most Fabulous Post. This is the uh, part of the show where we tell you what the absolute best post at the RSI forums was the past week. This week the honor goes to Top Set for his incredible post, How Far We've Come, which traces the last year of Star Citizen with uh, videos, quotes, graphics. Uh, it's pretty cool seeing everything we've done in the last year and uh, just thinking that we are only getting started. So uh, maybe he'll get MVP next year for showing off year two of Star Citizen. Uh, it's been a real honor this past year doing MVP for you, and uh, I'm actually packing up my hammer right now because we are headed off to the new digs. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Ben. Love that most valuable post. And I want to again thank everybody for the wonderful year you've given us here at Cloud Imperium. Hopefully you've enjoyed a ride of, of Wingman's Hangar a little bit. Um, and we've also got a few gifts. We've fallen down on a little bit of this, but we decided to put together a montage of some really, really cool stuff you guys have sent us in the last couple weeks. Take a look at this. Well, guess what? We got another really cool gift, and I know just where it needs to go. It's from GoTo and the guys at Monkey or Monk. Monkey. <laughs> Wouldn't be something if I didn't screw it up, would it? Check, check it out. And go to again to the cigar smokers. It looks like he included something for the wingman. This what? Hey, hey, hey. Mine. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Looks like Nash has sent us up some playing cards. Rob, you want to show them what you got over there? Absolutely. First, look at the excellent Star Citizen back. Star Citizen back, yeah. Look at this. I could be on the shopping network right now. Oh, oh look at the Joker. That's our Marine. Very cool. Very cool. Mine have a Squadron cool. 42 back, and it looks like uh, we got Chris. Oh! Ooh, gotta love that! Whoa! Uh, <clears throat> yeah! Well, this one is from Pat Williams, so let's, uh, let's just get in there, Rob. And it looks like it's um, a box. Thanks, Pat. A box. Containing a box. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh. you know what these are? Bourbon glasses. Oh. All right, as we continue, we've got a nice package from Premium Shank, Renegade Shank, or Jonathan. Shirt designed by Benjamin the Rogue, concept by Shank. Artwork by a hunter lives among the star supremacy. So what do we got? Oh, we got pitchfork look shirts. Look at this, look at this. Oh, how big is it? Is this mine? Is this, is, this is for Eric. It's got my name on it. So and what? it is size, holy crap. I didn't even know he made that size. What size is it? <laughs> Not like 19 XL. <laughs> Not 3XL. 3XL. <laughs> really? It looks like we have shirts for everybody here, too. We got Michael. You have a shirt coming up. Ben's got a shirt. There's some fruit roll ups. Not low carb, but we're going to pass these out. There they go. <laughs> Those went fast. Oh, we got something for Ben right in here. If I remember correctly, you like to use old computer components to put together computers. I hope this is something you can use. It's been in a box for some years. I bought it when I was finally able to track down a five and a quarter floppy of Wing Commander. Here you are, yeah. Five and a quarter. Very much. That's, that's awesome. It's going to have a place of honor in my uh, retro PC setup. Also, we got some fantastic cookies from Mil Milka and Michael Helmore. Thank you very much. Those cookies didn't last very long. They're obviously gone. And we got this bourbon barrel, which is really cool. We got we to create it, put bourbon in there, and we got to actually use it as a, as a deal. But for some reason, whoever sent this didn't send a card. So thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks. To our friends at CIG Austin from the Hangar Team, thank you for a great gathering in Cologne. Are you kidding? That is awesome. Let's check. Oh, they got shirts from Cologne. We will have to wear these on the show. No one sometime. flies alone. This is really, really cool. Except Eric. Eric flies alone. In a Nerf shirt. That's awesome. Our nerf, not Nerf shirt, in a Nerf ship. <laughs> thank you guys very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, I mean, it's incredible. We're honored. It's. It's, we don't know what to say. That's just wonderful. Thank you very much. It almost feels like Christmas every single day of the year here at Cloud Imperium. Would you agree, Mike? It's crazy. Yeah, absolutely. It's been an amazing ride. Uh, just, and it's only going to get better. We hope to be here for many, many years, and hopefully we'll lose a few pounds. <coughs> 220! <coughs> just saying. But maybe after the new year, maybe Wingman's Way will be back on the segment. <coughs> 220! <coughs> Something in my throat there. Probably an extra couple pounds. Um, I want to thank subscribers and pledgers for what they've done uh, over the last year. Subscribers in particular, you've allowed us to create these really cool shows and things like 10 for the Chairman and, and things of that nature that we totally enjoy doing and letting us get inside stuff on what we're up to. Thank you very much. And pledgers, thank you. Without you, there is no us. This is all an amazing ride. Thanks to everyone out there that's watching the show. Uh, coming up, more on the live stream. I know you guys are all waiting to see the dog fighting. Uh, it's going to be really fun, really cool. Ch oh, I forgot one, really. It's going to be really, really fun, really, really cool. So make sure you get in on that. Keep on the channel. Check what's going on. We're going to have some really fun stuff. Really, really fun stuff. And then also, if you have any questions on the hangar or what's going on, we're going to be taking those here in a little bit uh, on Skype calls, I believe. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be off on the holidays. Uh, all next week we're closed, and we don't show back up at work until January 2nd. Unfortunately, a few of us are going to have to work through the holidays as we move our office, but that's okay because getting out of the basement is well worth it. Trust me. Thanks again to all of you. Uh, next, submit your questions to the next Wingman's Hangar. It will be in the new office where it's going to be shot, in the new space, the new do-do-do thing, wherever we're going to be. You'll get a submit. Remember, any question you submit, though, is going to be for the new year. We won't be doing a show for Wingman's Hangar until January. So make sure we'll, we'll still put it up in the forums. We'll still get your questions. Gather them up. It'll give you time to put videos together. Two weeks to put videos together. We're counting on you. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can find out the latest and greatest of everything that happens at Cloud Imperium. Uh, you'll get a little alert. You'll find out the videos that are posted. We'll post 10 for the chairman, maybe maybe a hazy thought or something. Who knows what breaks up on the on the channel coming forward. Make sure you get your stuff up there. 
Submit your questions again in the RSI forum. Michael put a little thing right here for us to put up there. Uh, and again, they'll be in the new year. And today there will be no wingman's hangover. Well, not one that you're going to see anyway. <laughs> There'll be no wingman's hangover as we're going to continue to live stream from Los Angeles and Santa Monica. So we'll, we'll bring that back in the new year too. So again, I, but I might actually, we might stream later today because we have a Christmas party going on tonight. It's going to be fun. It's our Christmas party. All the office is going to be there. We're going to be hanging out at a local venue. Um, that would probably be a proper wingman's hangover. But we'll see how that goes. So again, thank you very much. I feel honored. It's amazing. If you want your stuff featured on Wingman's Hanger, send it out, send it in. We just might use it. We've got music from Matthew Fossa. I'm getting all choked up here. We got the logo from Pleasure. You guys are the reason we're here. And without you, there is no show. There is no us. And I just, I just can't thank you enough. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. See you in the new year. In the verse. <laughs>usually we have something funny that comes up after the show you know a little tag a little burst of humor but I want to take this time to really really thank the people that have made this year incredible I want to thank Chris Roberts for allowing us in his vision to do this kind of show he said a year ago he was like do a Jimmy Kimmel kind of show and I was like you're crazy we can't do that and you know what he was right again and, and we did I want to thank Sandy for her vision and her interviews and and her input along the way she's been an amazing asset and marketing director for our company I want to thank Ben Lisnick for his writing and his humor and his help. I want to thank Rob Irving for his contributions to Form Feedback, Pete Mackey, all the people that have been on the show. I especially want to thank you, Michael, for helping us. Without you, there is no show here. Uh, he does an amazing job. He's gotten this down to where it only takes two hours of my week. So I also want to thank you guys, the fans, for allowing us to do this. I mean, this is the most amazing job I've ever had in my entire life. And um, it's been a great year. Thanks. on the first day of christmas chris roberts gave to me a freelancer on my tv on the second day of christmas pete mackie gave to me two super hornets and a freelancer on my tv on the third day Ryan Church gave to me three constellations, two super hornets, and a freelancer on my TV. On the fourth day of Christmas, Ergobus gave to me four caterpillars, three constellations, two super hornets, and a freelancer on my TV. On the fifth day of Christmas, Santa Gardner gave to me five golden tickets. Four caterpillars, three constellations, two super hornets, and a freelancer on my TV. On the sixth day of Christmas, the Lesnick gave to me six standing hammers, five golden tickets, four caterpillars, three constellations, two super hornets, and a freelancer on my TV. On the seventh day of Christmas, Mark Skelton gave to me Seven thoughts so easy. Six golden hammers. Five golden tickets. 
Four caterpillars. Three constellations. Two super hornets. And a freelancer on my TV. On the eighth day of Christmas, Dave Haddock gave to me eight epic stories. Seven thoughts so he's six golden herring. Five golden tickets. Four caterpillars. Three constellations. Two super hornets. And a freelancer on my TV. And the ninth day of Star Citizen, Uncle Wicked to me. Nine bars of music. Eight epic stories. Seven thoughts so he's six golden herring. Five golden tickets. Four caterpillars. Three constellations. Two super hornets. And a freelancer on my TV. On the tenth day of Christmas, Rob Irving gave to me ten lines exact. Nine bars of music. Eight epic stories. Seven thoughts so he's Five golden tickets. Four caterpillars. Three constellations. Two super hornets. And a freelancer on my TV. On the eleventh day of Christmas, the women give to me eleven women's witches. Ten lines exact. Nine bars of music. Eight epic stories. Seven thoughts so he. Five golden tickets. Four caterpillars. Three constellations. Two super hornets. And a freelancer on my team. On the twelfth day of Christmas, David Letterman gave to me twelve jumping tissues. Eleven wingman's witches. Ten lines exact. Nine bars of music. Eight epic stories. Seven thoughts so he's six golden herring. Five golden tickets. Four caterpillars. Three constellations. Two super hornets. And a freelancer on my TV.